Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be difficult. Now today we're taking a look at the New York Sour, which has kind of a weird, strange, meandering history. Now it was originally created by a guy in Chicago and called the Continental. No one knows who this guy is, though he claims to have also created the Manhattan. Then it somehow migrated down to the south, where it was known as the Southern Sour, and then it got back up to New York, where some schmo up there decided to rename it the New York Sour. I know, it's kind of a confusing history, and it doesn't really matter all that much, and people at the time were drinking and didn't seem to write stuff down. Anywho, let's get to the cocktail. But first, if you haven't already, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so you'll be notified every time we make a new video. To build the New York Sour, we'll start with two ounces of bourbon. Next, we're gonna add one ounce of fresh lemon juice, one ounce of fresh simple syrup, and into a separate tin without any ice, we're gonna add our one egg white. Combine those and dry shake until integrated. Next, we're gonna add our ice. And unless you haven't seen any of our other videos, you know, uh, whenever you're using a cocktail that has egg whites, I always recommend dry shaking it, then wet shaking it. If you just do a straight wet shake, it's gonna be pretty, well, it's just diluted. And if you undershake it with ice first, it kind of smells like wet dog. Strain over a glass with ice. Now this is one of the options where some people will still put this in a sour glass. I, I like it both ways, but this is a nice little variation. And then over the top of it, we're going to drizzle half an ounce of a dry red wine. I've also seen cocktails where they use up to an ounce. I mean, you can go hog wild with the red wine if you want, but at that point, you're just kind of drowning out your booze. So if you've got a sh bourbon or rye that you're using in this cocktail, add a whole bunch of wine. And easy as that, you have the New York Sour. This is one of my favorite whiskey sour variations, especially if you're also a fan of wine, because you get the complex flavors from just a touch of wine, along with what you'd expect from a standard whiskey sour. Now, if you don't like wine, or if you're particularly snobby about your wine, avoid this cocktail. Similarly though, if you're just playing around with flavors, find your favorite wine as long as it's not too expensive, and try a New York Sour. Cheers from Drinks Made Easy.